How you doing, yo pirates? It's so good to see ya. I really hope that this is in focus. I have my phone down here that's uh, acting as another viewfinder. For some reason, my freaking camera has not wanted to focus the last couple takes of this and the last couple like videos I've done. Sorry for the lighting, it's really bad lighting right now. My soft boxes, I can't find the stand. But today, I'm just going over my entire mask slash helmet collection. Um, I put a poll on my Instagram and a lot of people are actually uh, interested in seeing it. But before we get into it, I just want, did want to say thank you guys so much. Um, on Instagram, we hit 11,000 followers. Um, I did say, and I think it was my unboxing of Boba Fett helmet, uh, that I would do a, a giveaway at 11K, and we hit that, so I need to talk to God of Props. I'm going to put up a poll as to what I'll be giving away, so make sure you go check that out on Instagram, at TS Cosplay. Um, I, I'll be announcing when I'll be doing the giveaway and what the giveaway will be. It'll probably be... Obviously, either a helmet or a mask. Um, I, I have two things in mind right now. We also hit 300 subscribers here. And on TikTok, yes, I have TikTok. It's just basically my attempt at funny Star Wars memes. But we hit 800 on TikTok. All the links to everything will be down below. But thank you guys so much for all the support. It means a lot. I'm just one person. I edit all my own stuff. I shoot all my own stuff. I have to create all the thumbnails myself. So it's really awesome to have your guys' support. I could not thank you guys enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Again, hit check me out on Instagram at TS Cosplay. TikTok, I think it's buckets and stuff. And then obviously here, TS Cosplay, same thing. But with that out of the way, let's get into masks and helmets. So I think I'm just gonna start with masks first, because I have I have more masks than I have helmets. So I'm gonna go through all those first. We'll start here. Obviously, right here, um, and I'll pop up what cosplays they were with next to them. But anyway, here we have my RCP Studios uh, Chasm 2 Spider-Man mask. I might actually be selling this because um, I don't really cosplay Spider-Man a whole bunch anymore. I used to do, when I did vlogs and stuff, I wore this a lot. It's really comfortable, um, but I don't really do Spider-Man a lot. If I do, maybe I'll do a, 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 a bootleg version of Spider-Man Noir. I don't know. Who knows? But it's a great mask. I love it. Uh, if I was to get rid of it, I'd be really sad, but rather be with someone who's actually getting use out of it than it just be collecting dust here. Next one is, I don't know how many um, Army of Two fans I got out there, but this is the Army of Two Smiley Mask from 40th Day. I just repainted it to look like the Joker because I was bored and we actually painted this um, to go along with some Mirakuru soldiers when I was doing Deathstroke. If you don't know Mirakuru soldiers, they're from Arrow. Um, but yeah, just repainted the smiley mask. This used to be yellow and black uh, and I, I, I'm happy with how it, how it turned out. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, this is my Legion Dead by Daylight mask. Absolutely love this thing. It was actually made by me, or made, not by me, made for me by a local cosplayer known as Gutter Billy. Um, it was a really awesome experience to go over to her house with her and her husband and just work on this. And, you know, basically I was just the head model. They did all the work. It was, and she did the painting. She did the measuring. She, she made this whole thing. It's really amazing. I love it. Um, I am actually wanting to do a Dead by Daylight short, kind of like the Titanfall one. Um, I actually got some stuff in the works, hoping things can come to fruition before the end of the year. But yeah, I love this mask. It's it's freaking sick. Next, we have a rather retired cosplay of mine, Deadpool. This was done by Illustra Studios. I had three other Deadpool masks before this one. I have none of them now. Um, but this one, this mask, I was looking for. What's sad is I was looking for a mask like this for such a long time. One second. Once I got this and cosplayed with it a couple times, uh, I actually stopped cosplaying Deadpool all that much, uh, just because obviously a little bit of weight gain and then um, just a lot of the people, because I really look forward to Deadpool meetups, because um, there's the Deadpool core and people just started dwindling and falling off and not really um, 
not really cosplaying Deadpool anymore, so I kind of, kind of stopped. Uh, but yeah, I love this mask. It was it's a really cool mask. I like it. Next, we're getting into, we're getting into COD territory. This is a cheapo little ghost, um, ghost mask that I got. I think I got it off of AliExpress, I can't remember. But I was in really big need of a ghost mask from Modern Warfare 2, and I found this one, and it was fine for the time. I contacted a couple shops on Etsy, I never heard back from them, uh, from a couple of them, and then one of them was out, of, out on a vacation, um, just due to COVID and stuff like that. So I wasn't able to get like a proper one done. If you guys know anyone who could make a proper ghost mask, let me know in the comments below, or hit me up on Instagram. I'm looking for a new uh, Modern Warfare 2 style ghost mask. I don't like this one at all. Still on the subject of ghost, we have this, the um, Asriel skin from Modern Warfare. I absolutely love this skin. At first, at first, I'll say I wasn't a big fan of the way ghosts look in Modern Warfare, but it grew on me and I absolutely love it now. Um, Especially the Azrael skin. I just think it's so sick. I'm actually working on that costume. Uh, the Azrael skin, I'll just bring up this one. Um, I think this was Dreadwood. I can't remember the name of the skin off the off the top of my head. But these two masks, two different looks, because the Azrael one is all white, and then the Dreadwood one, or the, the just the regular one, uh, is a little bit more gray with the white by the eyes. But these, like, I can't remember. I think it's Wearplay on Etsy. Um, that I got these from. Really amazing masks. They took a minute to get here, obviously because they came from Russia, Russian Post. Just doesn't like me for some reason, but they're here, they're beautiful, and I love them. Next up, we have a really weird time in the old cosplay phase. My Lucha mask, my Pentagon Junior one, inspired ones. Um, these were all custom made for me. Uh, back in the day, I used to do professional wrestling, and my gear guy, up until he stopped doing gear, um, just because, you know, COVID, and a lot other than like WWE, no one's wrestling. But uh, this one I actually wore in my first ever cosplay reaction, like my first ever TikTok cosplay reaction. Um, actually, they're really, they're really comfortable. I, the reason I stopped doing Pentagon inspired costumes was just for the simple fact that I hated wearing the contacts. I absolutely hated them. I'm no stranger to colored contacts, but I just could not stand them. This next one's all sequenced out. I absolutely love it. Gonna kind of go quick through these ones. This one's got like the blood, and then on the face, I don't know if you can see, but it's got some dragon scales on it. it looks really cool. Um, and then we have this one with all the skulls on the face, and then the dragons on the side. Um, the scorpion one, which what's funny is after I dropped this co th this uh, costume, a couple weeks later I saw on, because uh, I, I came up with the idea for this for the scorpions on the side and the uh, Mortal Kombat logo in the middle, uh, but what's funny is after I posted this costume a couple weeks later, if you're familiar with wrestling and just wrestling like the community and whatnot, you can find bootleg versions of masks on eBay. And one of those sellers actually <laughs> took my idea and was running. And the sad thing is, it did look a little bit better than this one. I'm kind of jealous. Um, well, hopefully one day I'll bring back this costume. But yeah, it's actually signed by, uh, you can't really see it, but T Kerry Tagawa, who plays Shang Tsung um, in the movie and in Mortal Kombat 11. So OG Shang Tsung. And then this one is my favorite just because it has my name on it. Um, and it's my favorite Penta mask of all time. The one he wore when he called out Vampiro in Lucha Underground. I absolutely love it. I actually was going to get a mask from Pentagon himself, but Wallet wouldn't allow it. So that's, um, oh, and then I just have these balaclavas. They're basically what you wear under any helmet. That's the masks. Let's get into the helmets. Okay, helmets. So I think I'm going to start with the three that I've talked the least about. Um, these three, obviously. The Black Panther one from God of Props. Uh, I would cosplay Black Panther more often, but this helmet's a little small for me. I've talked to him about getting a bigger size, but kind of just I just kind of veered away from other things just because I started doing Boba Fett. And, you know, other things have come up. 
but I actually like this helmet. Um, I, act, I sadly haven't got to wear it to a con yet. I was planning on wearing it to the 2020 Salt Lake Comic Con, but obviously the world went to crap, and I haven't got to wear it out in public yet. I did for a shoot a while ago. Um, other than that, I haven't really worn it. But I love it. Black Mask. I got this from Killinus Studios or Villainous Studios. Villainous. I, they, they have like two different names. I'll link them down below. Um, but the Black Mask, we were working on a little short film for a cosplay reveal for it. And uh, we're at the very end of it. But we need like eight people to finish it. And obviously, again, the world got in the way. But I absolutely love it. It actually fits really well. I didn't, it's straight 3D printed. I took a little bit of the flashing away and uh, put added some padding. Haven't painted it. Love the way it looks. Can't wait to get um, actually some proper shooting done. But once Brady comes back from his little sabbatical, we're going to shoot this. I'm really excited for it. But yeah, that's Black Mask. All right, Commander Wolf. I'm not going to get too in-depth into what happened with this helmet. If you're a, a big Star Wars fan or a 501st person, which I don't go for 501st approval when I'm doing like my Boba Fett or whatever, that's that's not for me, but if you are, that's fine. But if you are 501st, you know that the rangefinder looks a little weird. Um, so I'll probably go into it more in-depth in another video, but for this one, I'll just give you the, the, the short, short, short version. Got this from a company at the time called uh, Enoch Industries, then Enoch Store, now they're Crazy Russian Company, or something like that. I can't remember the name. Let me actually look it up real quick. Crazy Russian Factory is the name of the store, and what's funny is that their logo is a raccoon. Now, again, the short version is I ordered this almost a year ago, and I only got it... Uh, beginning of July, uh, January, I think. Long story short, it was a big, bad problem. What you can't see right now is right here. It came broken here, a bunch of the paint chipped. The rangefinder came snapped in half, and there's these little vent plugs on either side of the helmet. That Those um, came broken off. I had to glue them back on. If you didn't know, Commander Wolf is my favorite clone. This piece, I wanted to get a Commander Wolf helmet for so long, but couldn't find one that was reasonably priced, which was understandable because not very many people, what, at least when I've looked up just online, not very many people cosplay Wolf. And if you do, it's the person who is cosplaying Wolf made the helmet themselves or got the kit and put it together themselves. Um... But I found this one for a reasonable price. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not comfortable to wear at all. Um, but it just sucks because I waited so long for it. Had to go through so much drama with the store. Only to get it and it's broken. That's kind of a bummer. So if anybody knows anyone who's doing clone helmets, um, any price, I guess, let me know. I'm looking to replace this one. For now, it's fine. I kind of just have to hide the blemish and deal with the broken rangefinder. Uh, but let me know. Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. All right, the final four horsemen. These are probably my most relevant helmets right now. Uh, this was the Boba Fett helmet. Here, let me switch it out. This was the Boba Fett helmet that I did the unboxing on. As you can see, the rangefinder's gone. I'm replacing that. Uh, the cheeks, I painted just because I'm using this one for the actual Boba Fett cosplay that I'm using this one for a Operator Fett. I'll throw up a picture by Battle Tribe. I absolutely love that style. Brady, uh, when I get to this helmet, I'll talk about that more, but he's gonna be doing an Operator um, Mando. Uh, but yeah, I, this, th th there's, I have not, other than this helmet and, what is it, and my Black Mask helmet and uh, the RPC helmet, mask, uh, those are the most comfortable helmets I've ever worn in my entire life. This, it just, it just feels so, it, it, you feel, I could wear this for hours and hours and hours. Obviously, I'll probably install some fans to help with fogging or whatnot, but they're so comfortable, it's unreal. 
We'll go Mando, because I've covered this helmet like a thousand times, but I'll get back to it. So, with Mando, Brady's actually going to be taking this helmet, because he's going to be cosplaying Mando. The best guard armor, I think the season, it'll be, it's like season, the end of season one, slash the beginning of season two. Um, but yeah, that's what he's doing. He's going to be taking this one. I absolutely love this. I'll probably be getting another one. Because I want to have one in my collection. Because Din is just such an amazing character. This also stupidly comfortable. I love it. Brady better love it when he wears it. Um, but there's not much to say about about the the Mando ones. They're, they are they're, they're, you see what you get. But if you haven't seen the video covering and answering questions about this, that also will be linked down below. Um, but this is my Titanfall 2 Pulse Blade helmet. I'm not going to crazy light it up. It takes forever. Um, but this is probably the unicorn of my collection. Um, it, uh, it very well is the most expensive one in my collect collection. Not to flex, it just, you get what you pay for, and I'm glad I paid for this. Um, the... I, I will, I'm going to try to pronounce the name. I'll put the shop down in, below. Jacel or Jackal Props. He is also coming out with a new helmet. Um, and I, it's funny that I talked about it before in this the video about this one. If I had the money, I'd probably buy two more helmets. Well, I kind of want to complete the set. I want to get a grapple pilot helmet and then the gate style pilot helmet. Or the gate style helmet that he's working on. Um... I think those would be awesome to have. But yeah, I think that'll do it. That covers everything, I hope. If you guys have any other video suggestions, hit me up on Instagram at TS Cosplay. Make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, follow me on TikTok, Buckets and stuff, if you like Star Wars memes. Again, my failed attempt to make Star Wars memes. One last time, thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.